Okay, so we are recording. Hey guys, I am so excited. My name is Katie Bevington, Ambassador Diamond, and we are gonna be doing a training on blue personalities because you guys, we've been doing a color series. Last week was yellow, this week is gonna be blue, and we'll do the others in the next few weeks, but I wanted to, you, I want you guys to truly get a chance to understand what the blue personality is like, how to handle it, how, you, how they feel, and how we as other colors, I'm a red, can handle you know, and learn to work with them better. So Kelsey, I'm gonna give you the floor because you are the master. <laughs> Hi, I, a lot, I'm, you can tell I've had some, I have some blue in me because I lost my voice <laughs> from screaming so much in Florida. Um, it was so amazing. And I'd be happy to leave it there again to do the, this weekend all over. It was so much fun. Um, but I'm super excited, you guys, to talk about blues. Blues, I think, is one of the most misunderstood um, colors because there's, really not a ton of people who are have a ton of blue in them um but they're they can really get on people's nerves and but we can really also love them too um and, and i'm also want you guys to know your first two color personalities okay the second one is going to be just as important as the first color that you have because it's gonna um, really determine how that first color manifests itself and if you get into an emotional situation typically your second color is how you react Okay. So to give you guys an example, and I'm going to go over blues, um, in a second, but bl like blues are just fun. Like that's, that's the, the, if you like go on, if you see somebody dancing on a bar, like when you go, it's a blue. Okay. Like they're blue. Um, they can still be drunk, but they're blue. Okay. Like they're blue, even greens who are drunk. Don't do that. I'm just going to tell you, they just don't do that. Um, but th what I, what I do want to say is, is this to give you an example of the secondary color and the importance it plays is. So if you have, um, like I'm a secondary blue, so I'm predominantly red secondary blue, but if I get into a situation that emotionally shifts me, my blue will come out more because my blue is almost like my comfort zone. So for instance, if my husband um, is like, Hey, our money's like a little tight. Like the last thing I want to do that, like gives me that, like kind of gives me anxiety. So like, I'm like, no, this, this we'll just, it's not it's fine it'll be fine like it's not fun like that's not fun so i want to run away from it so that's like my comfort color your secondary color can tend to be your comfort color so if you're a blue but like secondary yellow when you get into an emotionally shifting situation whether it's good or bad maybe you maybe you you cry and maybe you get like very like concerned about other people and it's just this ye the yellow comes out in you and that shifting um one of my my girls tay she's amazing and but her secondary color is her secondary color <laughs> is green and so when when things happen her secondary color will come out and she'll be like what what systems do we need to put in place and she'll add like 15 million systems and i'm like you know like so that's that's what makes her feel better if you're blue secondary red like somebody just said what will happen is you're fun all the time but if something pisses you off steer clear of you because you're going to be straight to the point you're going to be very direct and that's just how it is um and it's almost like you feel like sometimes like am i bipolar like and, and it's no disrespect it's just because like both blue and reds are very passionate okay they're very passionate dominant colors and so if you're a blue red like you're like having fun one second and the second somebody pisses you off you're like what the heck and then you just go ham and you're like emotional and you say stuff you don't mean okay so that i mean and, and i know the last time i was doing this claire was like i feel known like i feel uncomfortable because i feel known so you'll probably have a lot of those moments tonight where you just feel known but that's okay like this all this whole training all this training is about is to help you number one understand yourself better okay if you understand yourself better what will happen is that you'll be able to to protect yourself from yourself right? Like you'll know your strengths, you'll know how to operate in them, but you'll also know not to put yourself in situations that make you mad or you'll say, oh, okay, I, I feel like my blue coming out, like I got to rein it in, right? You can, you, can, you can know that. But then the other thing is, is every color speaks kind of a different language. And if you have other people on your team that aren't the same color as you, there can be a lot of miscommunications. Um, there is a test online. I highly recommend the Jacob Adamo one. But um, since somebody can put the link in the comments, but you know, it's just so you can learn those people's language and you can understand how to communicate better because we all have the same goal. 
we all want to help everybody get the get, make the most money that they can and we want to be as the most successful that we can have healthy relationships all of that stuff so it's super important that we understand everybody's color because the old adage this is if you hear nothing else here this old adage to treat others the way you want to be treated is not true it's just not true i can't treat yellows the same way i can treat i can treat red Okay. And so it's super important that you know that just so because it's the way you would want to hear something is not the way everybody would want to hear it. Okay. So let's go over the blues real quick. Blues. Here's the thing. They, their main question, I always call it like their master question. I read it in a book, um, is why. Okay. <laughs> so why, why are we doing this? Why, why, why? It's like Dory. Why, 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 why? Um, here's the thing is they need to be noticed. Blues love to be noticed. Um, they like approval, um, and they like to look good, like socially. So blues are different from yellows in this sense. Um, blues, both blues and yellows care about what people think. However, blues don't care about like what people that they don't really like think they care a lot about the people that are at a certain level. They respect what they think. Okay. If I respect you and I'm a blue, then I really want and crave your respect. But if I don't respect you, I really don't care. Okay. So that's, that's how a blue thinks. They want happiness. They want freedom and they want playful adventure. So if you're talking to a blue, like a brand new distributor, who's a blue, you want to continually use the words freedom, incentives, recognition, travel. Okay. They, the, the thing is, is blues have this uncanny ability to, to um, transfer energy and excitement. Like they're the hype people, okay? Um, they they are, are very like, you're going to point them out in the crowd because people are going to be watching them. Um, and it's pretty easy to pick out a blue. And, and I think that there's, there's different things um, that blues can struggle with. And I'm going to pull some blue leaders to talk about some of the struggles that they feel like have manifested in this business because it's very easy for us to talk about our strengths, you know, like, Oh, like, you know, we're this rank and we're this rank and blah, blah, blah. But on a day-to-day -day basis, we all still struggle. We all still have like these, their our own battles. So I see Katie Harold on here. She's a blue for sure. Um, and I'm going to have you unmute yourself and kind of share how you have dealt, like what struggles you face as a blue and how maybe you've dealt with them. Okay. Hey guys. Okay. So I'm Katie Harold. I'm here in Toledo, Ohio. So where you want me to start with like my struggles as a blue? Yeah. Just things that you feel like you have to like talk to your blue. That's what I call it. Like I have to talk to my blue and be like, okay, I know like I really want to do this right now, but like I need to do this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Well, first off, blues have such a hard time staying on track because we're just so excited to be on this call right now. Um, okay. So when I have to talk to my blue, Honestly, you guys, I, one of my biggest, and like, I wouldn't say this is a fault per se, but sometimes, um, sometimes you guys, like I pour so much into my team and everybody else that I'm not making time for myself. I'm like, is my team having fun? What contest do we have going on right now? Does this person feel loved? When is the next time we're going to get together? What are we doing for us? Post like, and I, and I just do so much stuff for them. Did they get recognized for last month? And then I'm like, wait, okay, blue, Katie, like tone it down. Are you talking to your own people? Are you talking to your own, you know, potentials? And then, I mean, I feel like for me personally, like I, I have a degree in event planning, you guys. And so I'm always wanting to plan the next try. It. When's Pam coming? When's Cammy coming? And I'll spend a whole month planning a try it, but then I'm like, Oh, it's the day before the try and I have to invite my own people because that's about my business. And I was just so excited about everybody coming and seeing everybody and having a dinner that I didn't think about who I was going to invite. And so sometimes I have to tone down my blue and even, um, I don't know. I just feel like that way, like at, at conference too, I'm like, you know, I want to get together and talk and, and have fun and go to all the parties. But sometimes like my yellows, they just want good conversation. So I have to bring myself down and be like, okay, let's have a good conversation. Um, and so another, like, I guess weakness is, um, is, uh, I just, I'm not the most organized person and I get very off task. So I have, so something that I do, to bring myself back is do my list. And so everybody has like their six list, there are six things that we do to build our business every day. But I have one specifically for me, what works for me, you know, just because somebody adds, you know, 
a certain amount of people on Facebook or Instagram each day, maybe that number doesn't work for me. So I need to know like what I need to do to stay on task. Um, and yeah. then, uh, so what I, was the next part of that question? So I think that like under, that's super important. I love the point that you made number one about like, if you're a dominant blue, you're going to struggle. You're going to struggle. Like putting yourself as a priority, like your business as a priority. And you have to hear that in order for you to be a leader, in order for you to get the results that you want, to, that your team needs you to get, you have to put your business first. Okay. So for me, some things that I've put in place that have worked really well for my blue is that in order for me to get on coaching calls, cause I love coaching calls, right. Is I have to get my six list done and I do my coaching calls later. Okay. Cause I realize I'm most efficient with my list in the morning. And so I'm going to do my list first and then reward myself with my interactions. Okay. Cause the first thing we want to do when we wake up is go live in the team page. And the first thing we want to do when we wake up is make sure that like we check in with everybody and we talk to everybody. And then it's like one o'clock and we're like, what the hell just happened the rest of the day? Um, and, and I think that for me, I've realized that and I've recognized that. So what I've had to do is do the things that I don't necessarily want to do first so that I can reward myself with doing the things that actually feel good to my soul. Okay. Cause blues are all about how we feel. I don't feel like sending out messages today. I don't feel, this doesn't feel good because our energy always, we love when our energy is high. Okay. And one of the gifts that we have is that we have energy and passion and hope comes so easy to us, you guys. And that's why we really can be amazing at this business because we sell hope. We are so good at selling hope. We might not be able to sell a freaking product, but we can sell hope left and right because we believe in it. We believe in it. We are so positive. We're so optimistic. And we believe that everybody can be successful at this business. I was going to add one more thing uh, too, because it just like makes me think about when we are at conference and with a big group of people, I think sometimes as a blue, and this is just me being honest. I'm not saying this is good, but it's me being honest. Sometimes I feel like I will walk away and be like, did I just talk about myself too much? Like, because it's easy when people are like, how are you doing? And then you're like, oh, well this and this and this going on. And so my mom taught me something like a really long time ago. It's, and I told my team this at our welcome party, act as if everybody has a sign on their forehead that says, make me feel important. Because sometimes as a blue, you're so excited to be there and you're, you're just so into talking about how excited you are to be there. And sometimes you can get and it's talking about yourself and I don't I don't like that about myself you guys and so sometimes I have to stop and be like okay did I ask enough questions about them did I ask enough questions about how they're doing and how their day is going and I wanted to add one thing when my enroller got me on the phone before I joined this business you guys she spoke to my blue and I wanted you mentioned this at the beginning of the call that is so true if she hadn't done that I don't know if I would have signed up because I had just told her I just went to school for an event like to be an event planner and she goes oh my gosh that's basically what I do and so you guys, now these days, that is what I do. And so I love it. And so I was able to um, just kind of take what I loved with event planning yeah. and bring it to this. And she said, that's basically what I do. But if I didn't, if I said something else, she would have spoke to that instead. Yeah, for sure. I love that. Um, so Kelly, I'm going to ask you a question. Hi, Kelly. Hi, sister. Um, I want to ask what do you feel like your strength and your weaknesses as a blue and maybe how, um, you know, what, maybe some things that you want other colors, another color to know about blues, like that you feel like maybe they don't, don't really know, like maybe like reds just don't get blues for this reason or like how you felt like a little bit misunderstood. Um, so that other colors who are on here can know how to lead blues better. So <clears throat> first of all, hi friends. Hi you guys. Um, you know, here's something funny. Sometimes <laughs> Can you tell how sleepy I am? I'm like, oh, okay. Um, sometimes blues can be misunderstood or misinterpreted as dummies, like kind of like idiots. <laughs> and that's not, that's not, I'm not trying to be ugly like that. But sometimes I feel like people go or say something unkind because they think I'm like an idiot just because I like to have fun and it's all fun and whatever don't mean I don't got some thoughts about you talking to me a certain way. Okay, so sometimes I'll have red personalities that will discredit what I'm saying to them as if I'm a big dum-dum and don't know what I'm doing. 
that's not true. That's not true. Boo. I'm just going to have a really dadgum good time or I don't want to be a part of it. So, you know, um, something else, like when, when we're talking about like, you know, mixing with color personalities is, um, and I know you're probably, we're not there yet, but, um, is, is somebody telling me what to do? That's not fun. No. Stacy and I joke back and forth. My friend Stacy, she's yellow first. So if there's something that we have to get done and I'm like, I don't want to, she goes, but it's going to be really fun. <laughs> And that's what she always like will lead with me. Okay, we got to get something done, but it's going to be really fun. I'm like, okay, let's do it. You know what I mean? So it doesn't mean I don't get stuff done. It doesn't mean that I'm an idiot. It doesn't mean any of those things, but I want to have a good time or I don't want to be a part. If it's yeah. serious, if it's um, going to come from a place of Eeyore, if it's like, um, get this done and that, that I'm like, er, I, I shut off as soon as it turns into the, we're going to get on task and we're going to get this done and it's going to be this and you're going to do. And if you want to make money, blah, blah, I'm like, you just lost me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And I think a lot of times um, it's so true. One of the things that blue, red, blue and blues and reds can struggle with is that blues ask so many questions and I struggle with this with my kids as like a red and a blue because I love them asking questions because I'm a blue and I remember when I played field hockey um, my coach used to get offended because I would ask her well why are we doing this you know like what why 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 because our main question is why and it it would come across that I was like questioning her authority mm -hmm. when really if I understand why, then I'll figure out the how. But people who are red, green, that lead, like Katie, and we'll talk to Katie about in a second, that lead blues, they're like, why are you asking why? Because I'm trying to tell you how you're gonna do it. And if I tell you how you're gonna do it, then you'll figure out why you need to. But we as blues want to know why are we doing it? Because we know that we have the energy, the excitement, the charisma, the personality to do it if, we, if our why is strong enough, okay? And that is a big conflict with blues and people who are red and green is because they're so focused on like, the why is, is not important if you don't know how to do it. And the blue is like, that's most important, right? Like I can figure out how, and we actually right. love the creative side. We actually love to figure out how to do it on our own and do different things. And, and the greens are and the reds are saying, well, I just told you exactly how I did it. Why don't you just follow the instructions? And we're like, well, that's kind of boring and predictable. And we don't, I don't read instructions or directions. If we buy something that has to get put together, I legit don't take the instructions out. If I can't put it together, I'm like, eh, I don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. yep. So a downfall then is also details. I don't pay attention to details. If there's going to be a whole thing of information, it's going to be the last thing that I do is stop and look at the information, read the details. But then I'm like, I only want to know the bare minimum. What do I have to know to make the money? Or what do I have to know to sell this thing? What do I have to know? And then if I don't have to know it, I don't want to spend my energy on it because I just want to go have fun and make a whole bunch of people happy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And one other thing is that's super important to know about blues. If you're leading a blue, they crave response. It doesn't always have to be positive. They like positive response, but no response is their worst enemy. No response is worse than a bad response. Okay. So if they do a post and like nobody comments, like if somebody didn't comment, like their leader didn't comment on it, they're like, was that good? I don't know. Was that good? And they're without that reinforcement, that positive reinforcement, the chances of them doing it again, it's not fun. So they don't want to keep doing it. And it might feel, um, like that can be draining if you're like, I have to comment on freaking everything and do whatever, but it literally takes like two seconds, like to do that. And when you can say like, when you get in, and I'm the same way, like even when I'm on the zoom and people are hyping me up, like I get more hyped and I'm sure Kelly can attest to it and Kim and Katie. And they're like, people are feeling me like we just keep going and going and going and we get so hyped. But I will tell you a really easy way to pick up a blue. And this is a big downfall is that we interrupt. And I was like very interested to do the Zoom. So I was like, how many times are we going to interrupt each other? Um, as all being blues. <laughs> 
because we, we love talking. Like we love to make people feel comfortable in social settings and like, we don't like the awkward silence. And so we'll, we're going to be the ones that fill it. Like we're going to be the ones to do all of that and make people feel comfortable. Like, like I was just doing crazy stuff this weekend, you know, like, like picking people up and making them feel loved and whatever. And we're really, really good at that. However, um, people, sometimes struggle because, and, and Katie, I'm going to have you talk on this because it can feel like blues don't listen sometimes. Um, and it's like, I've told you and I've told you, but they, a lot of times they've already made up in their mind like this. And it's kind of like why we tend to be late is because we think we try to push it to the last minute and we're like, we'll get there on time. It's totally fine. And then we're not ever there on time. Um, and I think that that's something that we need to talk about as blues and ways that we can improve and get better, right, is, is be aware of interrupting and then also learning how to listen. That's something that I want to say to blues out there is like, when you can be coachable, your relationship with a red leader and really actually any color leader will be so improved. So Katie, as a green, as a red green, where do you feel like you struggle the most with blues? So I, I struggle the most with the, like the structure. Um, like I'm, I'm basically, I have 1% blue and zero yellow. So like it's red first, then green, then 1%. Um, so I, I need the structure. So I feel like when I talk, it's almost like, like everything I just said, they're just like looking off, like to the field. They're like, all right. And then we'll get off the zoom or something. And they're like, okay. So like, like, what are we, what, what's going on? <laughs> it's so true and, and here's the thing is like blues don't like and I want you guys to hear from Katie when she says this because I think a lot of times as blues we're not aware we're like like we're so excited about having fun that it's like oh I didn't really want to make that person feel like I wasn't listening to them and I really didn't want like they don't want that is we're not selfish but I think that sometimes like ways that you can as a blue is just say like my attention span it's about 15 seconds. So like, you got to give me your best in the first 15. <laughs> like, like seriously, because if not, like I might be done. Um, and it's really bad. Like it's, I mean, it's something that like I struggle with, with myself. And if you are a red blue, if you have like, if you, if you know, as a blue, like these are things you struggle with, you don't like struggling with them. Like it's, 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 it's just the truth. But um, I want you to touch on that a little bit more, Katie, of like, what when when you're giving them the game plan what do you feel like happens afterwards like you said you feel like afterwards it's like okay then then what like do you feel like you have to repeat yourself a lot yes and that's something that like as a red you like to say it and like never say it again so like repeating is like the hardest thing because you're like i just said that and I feel like, I almost feel like I'm like, then it makes me wonder, I'm like, are they not understanding what I'm saying? Do I need to figure out how to reword this? Like, if I feel like we're not actually speaking the same language at that point. Yeah. And so one thing that I would say to red leaders or anybody who feels this way with blues is that reds and blues actually like the they have this love hate relationship. And I'm going to go into this real quick for you guys. So I want you to take notes on this because it's super important. Reds and blues have a love hate relationship. Reds actually respect blues, um, in the sense that they're like happy go lucky because a lot of blues, uh, or reds want to be more happy go lucky. Like they kind of want to be able to let loose and they admire blues in certain social situations because of the, like just the influence blues can have in social situations. And they're like, dang, like, I wish that I could be that happy go lucky and have that fun. And like, they admire that part about them. Um, because it's so easy for blues to connect with people. And a lot of reds, if their secondary isn't blue and even yellow, sometimes like it's, it's, it's harder. It's not as easy. Right. However, um, they can get very frustrated with them and like the hate part, not hate. You guys know what I'm saying, but like, it's like the squirrel scatterbrain part of us where we're like, hey, <laughs> whatever's exciting. I'm going to go to, it's like this shiny object syndrome. Um, but I think it, that's what can frustrate the the red so blues like if you focus on staying on task and you realize that like we're as red and blue you're very fast decision makers that's what you both have in common reds and blues are both very fast decision makers here's the key reds make decisions 
based on power and control. Blues are making decisions based on a sense of accomplishment and fun. So let me give you a very easy example, okay? If you're a red, your house can be dirty. If you know that like this business, this is what I'm going after, your goals are super clear. If you're a blue, that decision is harder because right now your house is clean and you know you can feel that sense of accomplishment in like five seconds. And blues crave that instant sense of accomplishment. And so if you're leading a blue, as a red, you want to give them the instant accomplishment piece in a post. You want to give them the instant accomplishment piece in very small, small bits and pieces. Like, and I struggle, like I, this is like an, the reason I know this well, so well, you guys, cause I am a blue red. So like I have these internal conflicts every day, every day. So I clean my house. I'm going to, it's just going to be crossed off my to-do list and it's so quick and I'll just snowball. And then once I clean out my house and then the house, it's like, Oh crap, that took three hours. And that was really bad time management. Okay. Maybe I should not do that tomorrow. Right. These are my internal conversations that I have. And I think that it's, it's a red saying to a blue, Hey, let's, work on your, let, let's, let's write out your priorities so I can help you prioritize. Because as a red, that can come very easy and natural to you. If, and even as a green, that part can come natural. So just help blues, but don't tell them because this is very important. This is extremely important. And then I'm going to come to Kim because I'm so excited to hear from her, but here's the thing. Blues hate to be pushed, but they love to pull. They don't like to be pulled or pushed, but they like to do it to other people, not in a weird way, but because they have that freaking ability to do it. They love the influence. They love to help other people. And so, but we have to kind of think that we're figuring it out ourselves. Like I never ever wanted to be known as Aaron Tweed's diamond or double diamond or triple diamond. Like I need to just be known as Kelsey Thorpe. Like I needed to be known as my own entity and not under somebody else's roof. Okay. And like, I want, I want that. Um, I want you guys to hear that. Like they, you want to give them their own lane and let them be the driver, but let them know that they're going to, you're going to be here as the passenger if you're leading a blue, but they're the driver. They're always the driver. And it's not about control or anything like that. What it's about is making sure that they have the creativity available to them because they're best when they're coming up with fresh new ideas. And Katie might get, I'm sure Katie gets calls from people all the time that are blue. What about this idea? And what about this idea? And what about this idea? And like, as a blue, like I think all these big ideas and then I execute on not that many of them. And so if you have that, you want to surround yourself by people who can help you execute on some of your really big ideas. So Kim, hi sister, talk to me about um, some of the things that you feel like you've been able to overcome as a blue. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Kim and I've been doing this for six years now. And when I first started this business, like I didn't realize how blue I was until um, all these signs that Kelsey's talking about started coming to life. And when she, when Katie showed me this lineup, I'm like, bro, you've got the bluest of the blues on this. This is going to be bad. Um, But we're doing great. I feel like we're doing really great. So um, I literally had to tell, I'm, and you know, Katie's like my best friend in this business, Katie Bevington. And I probably get on her damn nerves. She's like, Kim, what are you doing? Like, I probably get on her nerves because she is so red. And I constantly say to her, can you please trickle some of that into my life? Like I'm so just, you know, being in Florida, I was, man, it was a good time. I did drunk karaoke. I mean, we got crazy. There was so many shots taken. We had fun. And I have to tell myself, okay, but you're also here with your team. You need to show them that you can work in Florida. Yes. The prayer meeting was absolutely crazy. You're right. Yes. And so I'm like, show your team that you can have fun, but you can also hustle at the same time. I've literally had to train myself to get my six list done. I love how Kelsey said, like, I get my six list done. Then I do these um, Zoom, you know, coachings and I have to do that. I have to tell myself that I know that 
it would be super fun to organize this in your team page and make this team contest cover photo really pretty. And um, it would be so cool to do all these super tedious, dumb things. But like, is it, well, it's not dumb, it's fun, but is it income producing? Like, I literally have to check myself at the door. Like, Kim, have you done anything income producing today? And, you know, three, even four, three or four years ago, I wasn't enrolling like I am now because I was so, so focused on stuff that didn't matter. And it was becoming friends with the girls that have spoke on this Zoom that, um, and more, you know, that helped me to put myself in check. Like, Kim, you can, even though you're a crazy blue who don't pay no damn attention, you can be a top 100 income earner. You can go presidential and ambassador because as Kelly's right. Sometimes they look at us. I mean, come on now. Like the way I dress, the way I look, the way I talk, people are like, mm. people on the airplane were like, shit, we're sitting next to this person with her biker shorts and her weird hair and her like hot Cheetos and her jelly purse. They're probably like, oh boy. And I'm like, no, no, no. I love God. No, no, no. I love God though. And like, I'm actually normal. And like, I make really good money from home. Trust me, believe me. People look at you like you're crazy. Blues are a little bit more. I mean, if you saw me at conference, my outfits, just the way that I am, people look at you like, huh? But we're not afraid to be who we are. Um, and you know, <laughs> it was a struggle me for struggle for me for a little bit, but we're not afraid to be who we are. We're loud about it. But man, you could not have been more accurate when you said like blue is my primary and red is second for me. And man, I might be fun, but don't play games. Like don't, don't get on my nerves. Don't be crazy. You know, and it, that was, you nailed that on the head. So we have to put ourselves, things I've had to overcome is, you know, literally telling, asking myself, have you done income producing things today so that you can show your team that you're enrolling your steps to success plus some every single month. Yep. I love that. I love that so much. And I don't think you look crazy, sister. I love you. Um, but I will, I actually do want to point this out. It's blues are actually um, they, a lot of times hairstylists and a lot of times they dress very eccentric. Like they're the ones that like kind of like are the first ones to try new trends. Um, they'll do things because they want to be different. They don't want to be put in like the status quo box. Um, and so a lot of times like, like Kim's hair, hairstyle and like it, it's very, blues want to be different. Like they don't want to be put in like a very structured box. They like being outside of the structure of things. Now let's talk about conflict with blues. Okay. How to deal with conflict with blues. Now blues can tend to like be an extreme personalities if they're not super healthy. I know in high school, I was a very extreme personality in the sense of like you have, because our question is why I'm only listening to certain people. Okay. And we, it can be reviewed viewed as rebellious, but you have to give me a reason to listen to you. You have to give me a reason to change what I'm doing. And what I mean by that is like, so if you're in conflict with a blue, it's not about control as much as it's about like authority. Like I don't like to be told what to do, but if you're going to, if you're going to be somebody to tell me what to do, then like you better be Mark or Mike or Pam or Cammy. Okay. Like, like you got to like have sh a sh a shown track record of it. But if you are a blue yellow, if yellow is your secondary color um, or your first color and your secondary is blue, then you care more about how much that person actually cares about you. So it's not as much about like the authority as, as it is, but like, because if it, you want them to know, or you want to know that at the end of the day, we only have about 15 seconds before you lose, lose track. And you just like, this conflict is not fun. So I'm just going to go over here and then hopefully time will work it out. And I'm going to do something more fun in the meantime. And then I'll come back to this later when I have enough energy to a lot of blues aren't like, don't like conflict. It's not that they're scared of it. Like a, like a yellow is typically like, oh, I don't want our relationship to be ruined or blue isn't running away from conflict in that way. They're running away from conflict because it's just not fun and it's not ser serving them. And they're like, peace out. Bye. Like, nah, bro. No, like I say, fun. I know I, I, I'm, I'm mentally already thinking about something more fun while you're still talking about why you're mad at me. Okay. And, and it's just something that like, we, you have to understand about a blue. So when you, for my advice, and I'll have some of the blue girls speak on this too, is understanding that like, you want to emotionally connect to the blue and say, Hey, I just want to make sure that we, we reach a resolution together because that's why I'm having this conversation. And if blue knows like, holy crap, like we can have this conversation like this. I want to have this conversation. Why? 
because the conflict will be resolved by the end of it because that's what she said she wants. Right. But if somebody's just coming at me to just come at me, like I'm all set with you. Like, no, thanks. No, bro. I'm all set. So like, there has to be a level of understanding that I'm, we're, we're having this discussion so that we because we both want that resolution. Is that making sense to everybody? I want to make sure that that's making sense. Cause I know it's kind of like a small difference, but it can be super productive when you lead with that. Because like I said, the first 15 seconds, I mean, really 15 minutes, like you might have 15 minutes with the blue before they just kind of shut down. And it's more of like talk to the hand. Um, and so that's, that's kind of a way. And then something else that um, I was writing down is saying that offering like a way of saying like a positive reinforcement at the end of the conflict. Okay. Like, so saying like, Hey, I know that, you know, maybe that your promotion didn't happen this month, or there was something that like didn't happen for a blue saying Like, let's go freaking kill it and, 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 and do this. And let's go find a way to make this fun again. Blues are going to be here for that. Right. So like, if you feel like blues aren't listening to me, like what's happening, then there needs to be that conversation of, Hey, I I know you're not getting the results you want. Let's talk about what's happening. Is it your action or your belief? I'm going to say if you're a blue and you've not had results in your business, it's never been about belief and it's always been about action. Most of the time. Because you, be, you believe you can do it. That's your strength. Your belief is your strength. The weakness is is consistent action. So there had like so many times like and I did this so much in my beginning of my business and I'm like I'm talking to blues and I'm like you can do this you can do this they're kind of like yeah I know but like how like like why am I doing this like what I need to make sure that like I can go through my schedule and I can and I'm telling them hey what about if you did this here asking questions with a blue is great because then their brain starts going so when you're in a coaching call with a blue don't ever tell them what to do Leading questions is the key. Leading questions. Hey, I know you said about this. What do you think if you did something like this? How would that work? And they're going to be like, what? Yes, that would work. And then we could do this. How many blues have you have? Somebody came to you idea and you're like, oh yeah, let me top that one. <laughs> you're, coming, you're like, oh yeah. And then we can do that. And then your wheels just start turning. So let blues be creative. Invite them in. If you're, if you're a red leader or a green leader, invite them in to your ideas section and they will be add so much value. Okay. Katie Kelly. Um, I'm going to ask Katie to go first, but Katie, what, when has there been a time like in conflict and how do you, what advice would you give to somebody about, um, your conflict? And I want to make this clear you guys real quick before I had have her answer that is it's so important that you realize this does not mean you have to cater to the color. Okay. We're not babying anybody doesn't mean you have to do every single thing. I'm just saying, if you want to get better results, you're going to want to speak some of the language that blues speak. And it's very simple fixes. It's very easy. It's the same thing with the yellow. It's the same thing. And the beautiful thing is if you're red on here, a lot of times you're willing to do whatever it takes. And so you're like, okay, whatever I need to do, I'll just freaking do it. If that's what blues want, I'll give it to them. Okay. If it'll make them work and help make me money, I'm good. Okay. So here's the thing is, and that's why we're, that's why we're telling you this. It doesn't mean that blues are right. Cause we know what our weaknesses are. You don't have to tell blues what our weaknesses are. We know, we know. Okay, girl, we know, we know we suck at time management. We know we have some things we need to work on. We know we're trying to figure out a schedule and we bought six planners and we didn't do anything with them. We just bought them because they freaking look pretty. Okay. Like we don't really write in them. They just look pretty. And then once a week we'll look at it and be like, dang, there's been two weeks. You know, you feel me? Cause that's how blues are. Okay. So Katie, tell, tell them about how you, what advice you would give to somebody who's going to deal with you and kind of like a, like, like more of a, I don't know, maybe you're discouraged or maybe you kind of feel frustrated with your business. Okay, this is perfect because, well, first off, I'm dying because that is so spot on. It's not even funny. But you know what I wrote down? My belief is my strength because you said that. And I have to remind myself that because sometimes blues get down on themselves because, you know, my words for this year were consistency and discipline because that is my weakness. And I know if I get to that and focus on that, that my business will be better. But I wanted to kind of like explain um, 
a scenario that has happened with myself and my upline Sarah Rankin many times, you know, like, so the question was like, when you get down, when a blue light gets down on themselves or feels discouraged, how can you bring them back up? So if they're like, maybe, you know, promotion was missed or goal was missed, or, you know, you just didn't work as hard and you're just, you know, upset with your check or whatever, we would have, we'd have a conversation and we do, we do a couple minutes of BMW, bitch, moan, wine, whatever. And blues like to talk about themselves. And so she gives me a couple minutes. Hey, what happened? And so I can, I can say it, I can talk, whatever. She lets me get it out. Cause you got to get those feelings out, right? Like blues, we just have way too much energy to keep that bottled up inside. So she's like, Hey, so like, what happened? How you, how you doing? She always says, how you doing? And then I get it out. And then she's like, okay, so like, so what do we need to do to fix it? So she already knows what I need to do to fix it. And so she, and she's also, I'm like, we're kind of like the same color personality, so we kind of have to guide each other. But um, when we dig in there, she's like, what do you think we need to do? And she already knows what I need to do, but she makes it seem like it's our idea together, exactly what you were talking about. Or she'll be like, so what do you think that you need to do? Instead of being like, you need to do this, you need to do this. Because again, Kelsey's exactly right. You will lose me. And like, yeah, so instead of coming at me like you need to do this you need because i'll i will if she comes at me like that or you know and that and that her or anybody if somebody comes at you like that you're like i'm out i'm out ah, 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 ah. no no but if they're like she's like okay well what if we did this like today we had a phone call and it was i wasn't like down in the dumps about anything but she was like let's race to see who can get to 100 new prospects first and because we we're doing it together i was like okay and so it's like a little challenge and so she walks me through it. Like, how can we, how can we fix this together? She makes it seem like it's my idea and that we're going to do it together. And then she gets me excited about how we're going to do it together, you know? And then we talk about what kind of results that's going to produce. And she drops in the, how we're going to have fun along the way. Like, okay, we're going to have a try with Pam, you know, we're going to do this and we're going to, you know, do some pop-ups. And so she kind of just like, holds my hand through the whole thing is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I love that. And I think it's so true because blues tend to typically, and it's not every blue, but typically we are um, external processors, meaning we process when we talk <laughs> because there's so much energy that like our brains are so squirreled that we get feel, it out. I feel like I move so fast. My brain moves so fast because I'm, I guess I'm just really smart. I'm just kidding. My brain just moves at a speed, <laughs> at a speed where like, I can't finish a thought if I'm not speaking it. And so because I'm so squirrel brain, if I speak it, I'm processing as I'm talking and I'm becoming, coming up with like in a weird way, like my own aha moment because I'm processing as I'm talking and I can, I can really come to that conclusion myself, even if my brain takes me three hours. Yeah. I know. it's, just, it's and she, You know what she does to me sometimes? I, you guys, no joke. She will ask me questions and just let me talk until I figure out the whole problem and how I'm going to fix it all by myself. And all she did was sit there and ask me a few questions and I just talked it out with myself. And I was like, wow, Sarah, thanks. And she's thinking like, it was your idea. I just asked you a bunch of questions. Yep. Yep. So true. So true. I love that. Kelly, what about you? What advice would you give to somebody who's like, okay, Kelly, like how do I deal with you? Like when you're down or when you're frustrated? Yep. So, and it's, it's basically what we're saying, but I keep thinking about poor Katie <laughs> and Katie's like, they're driving me nuts. <laughs> so here's the, the hard part is, is that I do know that I'm a mess and like poor Stacy, I tell her all the time. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm such a mess. I'm sorry. I make you repeat yourself all the time. My poor husband, he repeats himself all the time. I'm always like, sorry, can you tell me again? I was listening, but I kind of didn't hear what you said. <laughs> I was listening, but wasn't listening. Can you please just say it one more time? And I hate that I do that. I, I hate it. Like I don't, somebody is unmuted. I don't like that I do that. Like, or that you, I have to repeat or I'm not the best listener all the time. It, it, I feel terrible about it. You know what I mean? So, and I know it's a problem and I really try, but I'm not that great. So then I'm like, please, could you just say it one more time? Yeah. Yeah. And you know, but once it sticks, it sticks. Now, if it's something emotional, I'll, I can pick up on every word, but if you're like talking to me about details and we're going to do this plan and we're going to think this thing through and I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm gone. And could you just please say, give me a recap. If you could recap me, 
or good with recaps. You know what I mean? But I don't, I don't like that. I'm like that. You talked about the planners. I'm like, yeah, I bought like 20 and never used any. And they had real pretty glitter all over them. But for the first time, Katie, there's hope for me. I'm like, poor Katie. I just keep thinking about you. I know you're so awesome and so red. And I wish I was like that. I wish I was. So please, if you just give me some grace, I swear I'll come around. <laughs> That's how I always feel. But finally, this is not the prettiest planner I've ever bought. In fact, it's probably the least pretty one, but I'm using it and it's working for me and I swear I will freaking get there. Um, so the other thing is, the other thing is like one of the greatest gifts, we were talking about this, I'm crying on the plane ride home, the entire plane ride crying. Was anybody else doing this? Any blues on here? Uh, crying the whole, I mean, I just had so much emotion. I just couldn't even hold it anymore. I'm just crying the whole flight home. <gasps> the Lord's so good and this business is awesome. <gasps> We're gonna freaking kill it this year. And I'm gonna meet 5 million people and they're gonna love it. And we're gonna just, you know, take over the world, right? Okay. And so <laughs> we just like, I mean, all this emotion just coming out right away. The best, one of the best gifts besides my friend, with Stacy that she's given me in this business okay one of the best things she's ever done and still does it now even after going ambassador every single Tuesday Stacy messages me and she'll say Kelly you are black diamond ambassador 2.0 you can and you will and when you do to God be the glory she that's a gift of a yellow okay yellow is a great encourager blues love to do it too but a yellow will remember to do the dang encouragement i'm a great encourager but you better catch me in the moment because i'm probably not going to remember to do it every single week but every single week she pops up in my marco polo kelly you can you will and and when i get stuck in my thinking and my emotion all i need her to do is just remind me she'll remind me what i'm good at you know you're really great at going live kelly you're really great with people then just get out of my way. And now I've got 500 ideas and I'll go and crush it. Just remind me that when I'm on track, I get the job done. Remind me, Kelly, when you do this, you're really great. You're really great with people. You're really great. Now get out of the way. Cause now I have 500 ideas and I'm like setting up all these things and I'm signing people and I'm slanging DTs and LCs everywhere. And we're just going for it again. But the problem is just sometimes I get a little bit lost because I'm so busy on the inside, I just get a little lost. If you just kind of go, just get right back here on track. Here's what you're really good at. Here's what you can, and you can do it. Okay, awesome, bye. I love that, and that is so true. Like all, all, all that stuff that you said, I really resonate with, and I think um, sometimes reds can get frustrated, um, and I think the reason is, is because we think, we think, we, reds get their hopes up, kind of because they because they're they tend to be positive and blues are great talkers they will literally they will they're the hype people okay i told mark i was like i don't know why i told him this probably i had like a, i had like a, a drink or two and i said mark you know what, the only thing i want to do when i go black diamond is i just want to mc conference because i would be the best hype person out there like i just want to mc conference like other than the hundred thousand dollar paycheck like that's all you have to give me right and i think and i think but like it's so funny because when we get discouraged it's because we forget what our gifts are and we try to be a red or we try to be a green or we try to be somebody that really we're not when we know that when we can operate in those strengths of that belief in we're pouring in because again we get filled by pouring into other people and seeing that it's paying off and so when we're doing that and we do that. And so one thing that I do um, is saying uh, is whenever I feel down, I'll send like five or six voice messages to people encouraging them. And I get encouraged. It's like the most bizarre thing. I'm telling you, it's the most bizarre thing, but I'm like, okay, if I'm feeling down, let me just go encourage somebody else. I'll send it. Just made myself feel better um, because I'm good at encouraging people. And so blue, if you're down, go encourage people because that's what you're good at. That's a gift God gave you. It's not going and saying a hundred messages is not going to make you feel better. Sit Sending encouragement and giving love to people will always make you feel better. And then it will empower you to go send those hundred messages. Okay. But don't try to work outside of that color. Don't try to like, just accept yourself for who you are and become the best version of that color. Because there's, there's the troublesome shades, there's the true shades. And then when you're operating and just operating in an amazing space, that's when you can operate well. And here's the thing is the reds needs the blue. Red, red leaders need the blue leader because without the blue, you're not getting a lot of yellow. Okay. Blues and yellows can work really well together. Blues and yellows have the pull 
pulse of the energy of the heartbeat of the team. And sometimes reds and greens can forget that. And so recognize what you as a blue can bring to the table and bring that, bring that to the table and then say, okay, I need somebody to help me be on track. And sometimes we do need other people. Sometimes we can't do it ourselves, but it, let somebody know. Let somebody know that's what you need. Let the red know and say, hey, I know this is probably gonna be really annoying for me to ask you and I'm not asking you to babysit me. I'm just asking you to, for, for you to kind of say like, hey, every you know Tuesday and sometimes we don't even care if it's like super structured, but like, I just want you to check in on me. And as a blue, if I know somebody's gonna check in on me, I don't wanna come to them with the BS. I don't, I want to give them that. And you know what? Like if you just have some accountability like that, that's, and you don't make them feel guilty. That's a big key. Do not make them feel guilty if they don't do it. Because I'm going to tell you when a blue is on, they run faster than probably anybody because they have it. But you just, like Kelly said, steer them back. Okay, Kim, what advice would you give? Man, that's so good. And I, I am so blue that I need that. It's so funny that you just said that. I literally... I'm not on Katie Bevington's team, but I reached out to her and I was like, <clears throat> <laughs> listen, bish, I cannot be trip a diamond no more. I'm like, please, please just hold me accountable. I know you will because like, you're so red. And that's, that, as a blue, that's hard to reach out to a red, red, red who's killing it like she is. That's hard because you're like, God, don't put me under no pressure or lights, but like, just check in on me. Just check on me. Don't be mad when I don't hit my goal, but just check in on me because I know you will. So, and I, that's hard for me to do. Like, that's hard for me to reach out to a red and do. Um, but I know another blue is going to be like, it's fine. No, you're good. You didn't make it. Let's just party about it anyway. No, I need you to tell me that I suck. No, I'm kidding. We don't need that. We will cry. But I'm like, probably not, but don't do that. So my, my upline would always, you know, y'all nailed it. My upline would always tell me, Kelly just said it. She'll tell me what I'm good at. And I'll be like, yes, yes, yes. And it like, it fires you up. You're like, you're right. I am so great at that. I don't suck at the world. And also like blues are not, this is the greatest thing about blues. Um, you're not going to lose them. <laughs> you're not going to lose them. We are so, like Kelsey said, we believe just fine. It's the action. So being around action oriented people is what we need. And that's why I do stick around all of the, all of you, you know? And so like, we need people to be action oriented in front of us because it's motivating for us. Um, it's why I go out and I sign up all these people and do what I do. And it, it helps, it helps so much, but um, we are loyal. Yes, we are loyal because we, the belief is there. You don't have to worry about that. I mean, I've been here six years. I'm not going anywhere. Um, and so we have that, uh, like on lock, you're good there, but just encouraging and you cannot be more right either. When you said, you guys have already said everything, like, it's so good. I literally just need to, like, if I'm having a weird day, I will make myself go live in my team page. I'll be like, okay, y'all I'm, I'm pumped up now. Don't worry about me. I wasn't now I am love you guys. Gonna go get some work done. Like it is so so I blues, they're good. You got them. They just need you to tell them, Hey, you're still awesome. Um, and I love that Katie said that Sarah would be like, okay, what can we do though? It's true. You just need us to be like, you're right. You're right. Thank you for putting me in my spot. Now let's get back to work. Yeah. 100%. I love that. I love that so much. And, and, and I think when other people believe in us, it keeps our belief high. And so, um, again, if you're a red and you're like, well, I need to be talked to because like, I just need somebody to tell me how it is. I need somebody to be like, Hey, you're not doing the job. Get up, get it. That's like, not really what a blue needs. A blue needs you to say like, Hey, remember what, what you did last year? Remember how amazing you were? Like, why don't you get on a zoom and talk about that? How amazing you were. And I'm going to tell you how amazing you are still, but you have to recognize that like when, when you're pouring into a blue like that, it's going to multiply because again, blues are contagious. Their energy is contagious. And so pouring into them, reiterating what they're good at, all of those things and bringing them back to the core of what's, what they're good at is good. Because here's the thing that reds won't under and greens really don't understand about blues is our actions aren't determined by the consequences. We do things that feel good in the moment sometimes. And that's a weakness that we're all working on as blues, but 
that's just something that a lot of times that reds can get frustrated with a caution that I wanted to caution blue leaders with. Um, and as you're rising up, if you're a blue, um, I think that we have a tendency to sometimes create a cool kids club. Um, and we have to be very careful of that. If be, if you're predominantly blue, because we have this like ex exclusive group because we like to be exclusive and so we will create an exclusive group and sometimes that can be detrimental to our team because it's like the mean girls club and we that's not something that we we want to create um another thing that i would want to tell blues to do is listen even if it's boring listen even if it's not um told the way that you want it to be told because there's always good information there's still good information right? And as blues, if we're reminded of that, we can do it because especially if we're on Zooms listening to people who made like $500 million and we're like, oh my God, how do we do that? That's so exciting. We can listen if it's boring, if we know why we're listening, right? And if you want, if you feel like a blue is not listening, the biggest thing to say is, hey, I understand how you feel. I felt that way before. Here's what I found and here's how it worked because that's why you're going to do it. If you tell them, this is what, how it worked for me, that's giving them the understanding of why they should do it themselves. That's giving them the understanding. So give them like credit, like give your, if you're not a blue and you're talking to a blue, give yourself some credibility because blues will have a higher chance of listening to you if they understand why, not in a, like a bragging way, but you have to give them a reason to listen to you. Okay. Um, and then let me see if there's any other, um, notes that I have just to finish off with blues. Cause I think sometimes, uh, make sure you're getting blues to events. Blues will thrive in events more than anybody. And you need to tell them that you want them there, that they're going to have so much fun that like it, it's, it's, it's just going to be so much fun. Like you have to be there. Like you're going to miss out if you don't blue suffer from FOMO fear of missing out. Um, and so making sure you do, you, you do that is connecting them with people. They're going to thrive from events. Um, and they're going to be the ones that bring the energy and the hype to the events. They're going to be the ones that are screaming and cheering. And I think that it's, it's super important. Like the blues were showed up at the prayer meeting this this year like blue showed up i think we had more blues than ever before at that prayer meeting because it was amazing um but it's it, it's again i hope this was super helpful is there anything katie that you want to ask as like just to help understand about blues or did we talk your ear off enough to where you're ready to go to sleep oh my god no i actually i like i i don't not like blue personalities i honestly like i don't like yellow the most that's the one that like is the hardest for me so you like blues I, I and that's why i love kim i'm like i just like i do like to have fun and i like that just like really inappropriate sense of humor you know and like <laughs> the just the quality i like that hype because i i like as a red i am very very hype like all the time i talk really fast i know all these things but the only thing the only thing that bothers me is the uh is the the squirrel like i'm like when i talk i because i don't like to repeat it but now i kind of get it in a way, and I feel like, I just feel like blues bring so much to the table. I really, like, I just like, I like that, the fun, yeah. the community and that's together. Another thing that I want to say about blues is they will, they tend to typically like the spotlight. Now, you, like, in a sense of, like, if you ask them on a team Zoom, it's going to bring their energy up. It's going to do a lot more for, for them internally, like, than it would, than you would think, than it would for a lot of people. Like, it's not going to stress them out um, at all. And so that's another really good way to help. But, like, if you think of blues, like, public speakers, people who are really good public speakers, actors, okay, um, entertainment industry, a lot of sales are blue because a lot of it is about energy. And I think that that's one of the things, like I didn't prep anything this weekend for stage and like everybody else had their notes and I was like, did I forget my notes? Like, was I supposed to have notes? And they're like, no, you do better without notes. Like you do better without notes. And, and most blues will do that. Like when they just speak from their hearts and they pour out their energy. Um, and there's my timer to make sure we keep it on time for an hour because I have to protect myself from myself because I have no green. Um, so I, um, am super excited. I'm, I got a lot from this, just, just good, like 
rem reminders. And I think like Blues, I hope you all feel encouraged um, just to know how special you guys are. Like the energy that you bring is your superpower. Um, don't ever lose that and don't lose sight of that. Go live in the team pages because Lord knows we hate typing out long posts. We'll leave that to the greens and then we'll go live and talk about it okay blues blues will watch all the videos and greens will read all the things okay and so just make sure you're doing both in your team pages make sure you're providing stuff for both because we want to feel the information we don't want to see it okay so i love you guys i pray this was super super special like just helpful for you um and and even if you're not blue to understand the blue people um and know that oh gosh did i forget something that's what i'm saying that's my blue <laughs> Um, no, I think I, the only thing I didn't, did I cover the green blue relationship? I'm just thinking about this real quick. Did I cover that? I don't think you did. No. Okay. Let me cover it real quick. I'm going to go through this real quick. This is my blue. Cause I did, I did actually write this one down. Okay. So the thing is, is there's also a love hate relationship with green blues. Okay. Um, and it's very interesting because the green blues are, are tend, like, are tend to be attracted to greens. Okay. They tend to be very attracted to greens because we're very, like our brains are very like this. And so the greens bring that stability that we crave and that we need and we want. And because we're, we're very in the moment, we're very good chameleons. We can blend in with a lot of different crowds, but we admire greens because they tend to stick with who they are. And we admire that level of like, they are just who they are. And like, that's, I, I, I'm like, that's, I, that's a level of confidence, right? That's something that they bring to the table. And so, um, we all, my point in saying that, and I'm just going to close with this is just making sure that you're staying in your truest color because each color brings something so specific to the table and greens couldn't really sell the vision without the blues and but the blues wouldn't ever really sit here and be able to write out the whole vision with without without the greens and so making sure you just are honoring every single person's every single person's um colors and what they bring to the table and understanding what your strengths are so you guys can work on them. So I'm going to leave with that, but thank you, Katie, for organizing this. I appreciate you. Thank you, Katie Harold. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kelly. I love you guys. I'm so proud of you guys. Um, and thanks for just sharing all that good information.